Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Just a quick update, guys. Just a quick update because if we don't, it's, you know, it's going to get backed up, I guess. Yeah, you know, we're just a typical couple that talks about work in bed. We were trying to fall asleep and then we end up getting riled up and here we are. Back at it again. Acapulco has been destroyed for a second time in 11 months. We kid you not. The death toll from John rises to 29. Southwestern Mexico deals with widespread damage from another storm. If you can't see the mud flood event happening before our eyes, I don't know. Are we in denial? Are we in denial? I, I think there are some people that are in denial. But, you know, hey, it's it's going to be Israel that's in denial. Well, in the Nile and all the way over to the Euphrates before you know it. And we'll talk about that in a moment. If you weren't aware, this person wasn't aware that the largest possible lithium deposits in the U.S. is for, wait for it, in western North Carolina. Absolutely, you know, Kings Mountain, this Kings Mountain's on the eastern side of uh, Asheville. It's part of the Carolina uh, Tin Spodumene Belt with the inner Piedmont terrain to the west and along Kings Mountain. So, you know, this is an area that, you know, it's great to see so many people doing a lot of deep dives into thin air. He really does dig deep to uncover things. So, you know, this person's just saying, okay, here's a hypothetical. If the farmers and homeowners in North Carolina don't want to sell their land to Piedmont Lithium, what could be done to incentivize them to sell? They're sitting on a lot of lithium, which may be worth billions to these companies. Well, you know, then the flood happens. See, look at the little signs there. No, we don't want to mine here. We love our nature. We're full of people that like to homestead, have their own milk, their own cows, grow their own food. Yeah, they don't want the mining. Now, Cindy knows she grew up in Idaho. The mining can make areas completely toxic. Well, it, it can, you know, for as beautiful as the area was that I got to grow up in. Um, before we got there, they did. They did go up into the mountains and they mined. And it was such a problem that, um, you know, we, we knew we were able to fish out of one creek was clean. But the other creek, there were mines up up, up the creek from that. And we were not allowed to fish in that creek because the, of the toxicities and you know, going up to explore when I was riding my horse up in those mountains and exploring the mines and stuff, I know it was so dangerous, so dumb, but I did. And you could see the, the drain off from the mines, you know, where they were doing the leaching and using the chemicals to leach the silver or whatever the heck it was that they wanted to get gold, who knows. But they, they really have no problem in destroying the land, no problem at all. And obviously, they have no problem, you know, destroying people. It's just, it, you know, it's kind of par for the course. It doesn't bother them one bit. No, and remember, we were talking about Idaho, the Idaho water shutoff thing. And, you know, again, millions of acres of farmland, no water for the farms. No, but there's water to mine. And, you know, think about this, too. What does all those stories say about those Anunnaki beings creating humans to be a slave race to do what? To mine. Yes, it's never stopped. It's never stopped. And, you know, here you see, again, as of June 2024, they've been given the green light to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Mining for cobalt, cobalt used in lithium batteries, need a lot of water to do it, and this is why they are just bumping the farmers off their land in Idaho in order to, again, uh, obtain the cobalt and the lithium. And, you know, you might want to just be aware that that potential hurricane that's developing out there as we speak um, that may come in about a week's time it looks like it is possibly going to take a little bit more western uh, track. We'll cover that in the future. But that's what got me thinking about this. 
and in bed, you know, just having a discussion because we're both like can't sleep but really tired. <laughs> I, I just it just clicked it's like wait a minute I just saw an article about Arkansas and in the rush for lithium miners are turning to the oil fields of Arkansas the smackover formation in southern Arkansas was once a major oil producer now companies are hoping to extract lithium a key metal for electric vehicles again which are blowing up as we speak because of saltwater inundation because of the storms so there is perhaps going to be a boom in southern arkansas for drilling for lithium well yeah i wonder is is that storm going to take a western track and perhaps you know do the same thing that we saw to uh happen to north carolina around the Asheville area to somewhere in this stretch as you can see this this is literally um, what's called, uh, you know, the uh, smackover formation. So there's a lot of potential in this. It really goes from the panhandle of Florida all the way into Texas. But the area that seems to have caught a lot of attention is the southern border of Arkansas, just above Louisiana, and perhaps particularly in the, in the Texarkana area, um, over towards Magnolia. So let's hope not, but you know, if, if it turns out we have another bad flooding situation that hits this area, it's just going to be a little more fuel to the fire for those people. Again, this is another map showing you that area with the highest concentration of of wells, which may also have lithium uh, underneath them. You know, more fuel for the CONS piracy <laughs> fire. The reality is, again... What CONS piracy hasn't been proven in recent days? They pretty much are all coming true right before our eyes. We're going to have nothing to talk about, right? This is how it's going. Meanwhile, we also were talking about the fact that infertility, um, just simply human ability to reproduce other humans seems to be coming to a staggering halt. And there is a staggering rise in women with reproductive health issues near the DRC, cobalt mines in Africa. Yeah, it's just another byproduct that seems to cause infertility and miscarriages, infections, birth defects, all sorts of nasty things. And speaking about nasty things, Israel has started its invasion of Lebanon as we speak. First photos out of the ground war and the ground invasion. There's also reports that the Lebanese army is withdrawing <laughs> from the area. Doesn't look like they're going to put up too much of a fight. So, you know, again, onward to Lebanon, then Syria, and then Jordan, and then some of Saudi Arabia, and some of Iraq, and Egypt, all the way to the Nile. This is, again, exactly what was forecast. And we talked about Damascus as being the potential target for Israel in, in a massive way. Uh, this Syrian journalist was killed uh, tonight just after she finished her live broadcast reporting on the Israeli bombings in Syria and Lebanon. And so she's no longer able, obviously, to do her job. Meanwhile, Putin is rushing to the Kremlin for a sudden emergency meeting. I wonder what he could be talking about. Ah, take a deep breath, guys. This is yucky. I mean, this is just yucky. So, yeah, having trouble sleeping, so disturbing. The visions that are going through my head, and I'm I'm the first one when we're making a video, I, I'll say, well, that might not be true. That's fake. Let, you know, I want to just be sure. Let's vet this a little bit more. I mean, I'm sure I'm a little bit of a pest for my husband, it. and I feel into it, and I feel if these things are are real or fake or you know if we need more information so a lot of times i'm like no 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 i don't think so and because i don't want to spread unnecessary fear and that's the last thing that i want to do but i can tell you guys one thing and i i get my own confirmation plus extra extra confirmation as far as everything that's going on in uh north carolina surrounding areas Asheville. um we everywhere everywhere there's a, so much that we are not seeing so much death and destruction and people starving children starving i hope we don't lose this video 
um, cause I'm being a bit honest. Um, but I, I see it and I feel it and it's just, it's devastating that it's this real. It's so real. Before she became like totally online, she was living in California and had a vision that shook her. And she's actually wondering if this is part of that vision. You know, I, I feel like I can share some with you guys. Before I understood my abilities, I was I was having these visions that were just awful. I mean, they were so awful that I got myself medical help. I got some very serious medical help because I could not get these visions out of my head. And these visions were of children, uh, you know, walking around without parents and crying and screaming. And they just, they had nobody. And I could not shake that vision. It was so bad that, you know, you know, it's bad if you have to go to a hospital and say, hey, I, I can't stop this and I, I didn't understand my abilities and now I really believe that a lot of that is happening in in these areas that were hit with the water you know with friends sending me information of confirmation for that it just it hit me so hard and you know this could have been part of that vision I saw it was years ago it was years and years ago but it, it just wouldn't go away at the time. I was thinking it's because uh, of a sickness and that could very well still happen, a sickness and these children are uh, outliving their parents because their parents are sick and dying. And I, I had this, this vision and it just, it wouldn't stop. It just would not stop. I had to get medical intervention. It was so bad. But, you know, I think, I think this is where we're at and it's absolutely awful. And the other thing, I'm just curious if anybody is calling around for insurance, if any insurances are paused in your area, we would be curious to know about that. And that exactly was got, that, that is what made the bells click with the lithium. Um, because we heard of some in that area, some providers are, are not going to provide homeowners insurance in, in, in the area we were just talking about coincidentally for a period of time that is very very odd so you know again thank you guys for being with us on this journey stay prepared keep putting out your prayers and positive intentions much love source bless and namaste namaste